Good morning, YouTube. This is your homegirl. I have a ABR Bible sign on for Westchester County, New York. I'm in the motherfucking house. I got four hours to get ready. As you can see, I'm, I'm partially ready. <laughs> I just got to get fully dressed and put my shoes on. But I just want to come up here real quick, say happy Friday to everyone. Hope everyone has an awesome weekend. If you know, I'm working on a brand new job. And there's some perks to it. So I'm going to stick with it. Plus, I don't want to go back to doing construction labor or working for the temp companies anymore. I've been doing that on and off since I was 28 years old. Mm-hmm. Don't get me wrong. I made some good money, but not stable employment. And me personally, I'm tired of my pockets looking short. No longer on the street. I did that years ago. In my own apartment. And I keep this up. That means everything that needs to be paid needs to be paid. Or else, I'll be looking for another house. <laughs> Plus, I want to prove something to myself. Like the way my place look now, it's been looking like that for three years. No new furniture. No TV, no nothing. The cable I got, oh, that goes to my phones. <laughs> but I want to relax a little bit, you know what I mean? I'm 51 years old. I want to live like I'm 51 years old. I don't want to live like I'm in my 30s or 40s. Because all that time, after I got out of prison, I worked jobs. Don't get me wrong. I had different apartments. Don't get me wrong. But then that attitude always came back. I was like, fuck everything. <laughs> this year is going to be different. It's supposed to be a brand new year anyway for me. Next year, I'll be 52 years old. So, if you really look at it, I'm 51 right now. In nine more years, I'll be 60. Now, what, what, when do I grow up? Oh, I'm enjoying my life. This is like a second childhood for me. Being on YouTube is a second childhood. Living by myself without my parents is a second childhood. I'm the only parent in this house. <laughs> and I have no kids. Uh, I just want to be free this year. That's all. That is all. And believe it or not, a lot of you women on YouTube in this sector got something to do with this. Yeah, you make you you make a bitch wanna grow up. Uh-huh. It's no fun. Watching y'all do what y'all do, and I'm still stagnated. I'm still living like I'm 28 years old. The new job I work. No smoking cigarettes. You can't even come to the job smelling like beer or liquor. So this might give me the incentive to get sober. Finally. 
It's been a long time, man. I've been drinking on and off since I was eight years old. Eight. Sneaking beers. Sneaking the little mini bottles. Going into my parents' liquor cabinet. Drinking up all their liquor. Their wines. Their champagnes. Mm Mm-hmm. When I was in middle school, I would show up to school drunk every fucking day. No wonder I dropped out. (laughs) I started smoking cigarettes at 13. Even though I grew up in a house. I had two parents. It felt like I didn't have anyone. Because they didn't really look at me like that. Only when I became grown did they value me. But by that time, it was already too fucking late. Same thing with the biological parents. Matter of fact, When I met my biological parents, they didn't see me as a grown-up adult. They still thought of me as being two years old. Mm Mm-hmm. So just imagine. Today looks like it's going to rain. I'm waiting for the mailman to come, but in the meantime, I'm going to just continue to get ready to go to fucking work. And I'm a little tired from last night. It's been a while since I've been really, really busy. But I like it. And I'm not going to leave this job. I'm going to hold on to it. Got no choice. I got to pay. I got to pay to stay here. I got to pay for the lights to stay on. If I like my cable so much, I got to pay for that. I got to pay for a brand new phone. I got to pay for stuff to come in here. I need new clothes. I need new everything. So I'm already planning what to do and how to do. And I don't want to get off track. I don't want to become distracted. And then get frustrated and then don't want to do shit. That's been my attitude for years. 51 years old. It's time for me to grow up. Daddy's not here to help me with the money situation. When my my biological father was here, oh yeah, he was helping me. He was giving me money for a little while. What was my allowance? 300 a month. Okay. So a lot of his money helped pay for things that I had when I was living in Greenville, South Carolina, because I had an apartment down there. Then I moved to New York. He wasn't helping me when I moved to New York, but that was understood. You know what I mean? At least he did do something for me before he passed away. Everyone else, I believe they just wanted to take advantage. They already saw there was some issues going on. I hide behind these glasses. I hide behind my goggles. I hide behind my cigarettes. I hide behind my beer drinking. I hide behind my, my, you know, everything. Now I'm out in the open. Where, where, where is there for me to hide? Not even on YouTube can I hide who I am or what I am. But it's important for me. To change. And change is constant in life. 
Only thing constant with life is change, taxes, and death. It is what it is. A shout out to the chat. So, um, I want to, I want to extend to you to have a good weekend. And, uh, just do what you need to do. And, um, hope everyone has an awesome day today. I'm going to have an amazing day today. I'm going to do the best I can do. Because I'm tired of being a convicted felon. I'm tired of living behind that title. I'm tired of living behind my SCDC number. Which is over 20 years old. Remember, I went to prison in 1995. I didn't get out until 2001. My SCDC number, 221644. I was convicted years ago, way before I went into that store and robbed it. I was convicted years ago. And not by the universe, but by the people that was around me and my own insecurities, my own failures, my own fuck-ups. I can't blame nobody for fucking up my life but me. Because when I look in the mirror, that's who's responsible for this adult life. I guess I was just trying to get back my 20s. I ain't never going to get that back. I gave it to the state of South Carolina. And whose fault was that? That was my fucking fault. So peace out, y'all. Y'all have an awesome day. One.